Hi everybody, welcome back. So today's video is just going to be an overview on um, the previous Thunder bike that I built. So I raced this bike from 2010 to 2015. Um, had a couple of different engines in it. So it originally started as a Ducati 916, which was raced in 2010, 2011 and 2012, where I won the championship for the first time. Due to a rule change, I then dropped it down to a Ducati 748 SP engine. And I then subsequently won the title again on it in 2013. Uh, I then changed to a Ducati 749 uh, for 2014, so didn't use this bike. And then in 2015, I then entered it in the Thunderbike Extreme Championship, which is the current configuration it's got engine wise so the engine that sits in this bike at the moment is a um, purpose-built race engine for a 996 SPS so it's got SPS cams in it uh, high compression pistons um, it's got a race bottom end as you can see there are no numbers on this case um, and it was it was putting out just below 130 brake horsepower so it was a uh, spot on for Thunderbike Extreme class. Um, what I'm going to do is just talk you through the specification of the bike. Starting with the rider's view, what we have here is a AIM MXL Pista data logger setup um, running with a GPS sensor for lap timing. It's a, a multiple channel system. When it was um, in its race configuration I was monitoring a number of parameters front suspension rear suspension front and rear brake pressures uh, throttle opening um, RPM oil pressure and a number of the other standard sort of um, parameters it's connected directly into the Ducati loom so it picks up from the ECU a number of its measurements and this has got a, um, a home built loom which was my first attempt at building a loom so it's significantly lighter it only runs from the front of the bike basically down to where the battery connects in the starter the bike runs Brembo master cylinder for the front brakes which has got a 19-20 ratio master cylinder and lever. Um, runs a standard master cylinder for the clutch because that's what I preferred. I did used to run a Brembo um, aftermarket race one, but I prefer the feel that this one gives. And that is connected to a MPL tuning parts slave cylinder to actuate the um, clutch. And that gives quite a nice feeling lovely anodized red as well the front of the bike I've got Harris adjustable yokes that are running Olin's FGR 500 forks in them so these are the 2005 forks you can adjust the offset um, which is kind of handy as well as obviously you can adjust the rake because you've got the standard Ducati frame adjustment and I run it at the back in the race configuration the forks came off of uh, Shane Burns Stobart fire blade so I bought them off of a, a chap who broke the bike and I managed to get them and uh, they give a fantastic feel and balance to the bike uh, it's running 108 millimeter spaced M4 calipers and then a 16 and a half inch front in here at the moment. I used to run 16 and a half inch wheels and slicks. Um, there's a currently there's a rear 17 and a 17 inch rear wheel in the bike at the moment just for storage purposes. And then we've got Armstrong wavy discs. The brake discs run the same offset as the 748R. So going back to the engine, we've got a 996cc capacity engine in there, which has been purpose built up. 
it is running 996 SPS cams it's got pistol high compression pistons in there it's got a lightens and balance crank and then standard um, 996 gearing uh, silicon hoses on the externals um, I am running a 45 mil header system that then goes back to a 45 to 50 mil crossover pipe and then up to 50 mil Termignoni pipes. Engine wise on this side, on the right hand side, we've got a Duca bike slipper clutch with adjustable spring tension uh, using a four spring clutch. Magnesium clutch cover with a carbon guard. Um, in there is an Electrion fast action cam for the throttle bodies, which are just standard single injector 50mm throttle bodies. And then a JHP one and a half row radiator to finish it all off. I never actually got to race this bike in this configuration because when we went for the first test um, it it dropped a piston ring. Um, I hadn't built the engine when I first got it so on my first time out it was blowing a lot of oil by uh, to the point where it was absolutely blowing out the breather so I decided not to race it. I then dropped the engine out and did a rebuild on it and uh, found one of the piston rings had snapped um, which was causing significant blow by. It had scored one of the cylinder line liners so we had to strip that out, take, get a new set of rings, get a new set of barrels to put on there and then rebuild the engine and put together. I then subsequently borrowed somebody else's bike for the next race meeting and had a, had a very large crash, so didn't see out the 2015 season. So never actually raced this bike um, in this configuration. But this is the bike that I won two championships on uh, in this chassis configuration, so this suspension. Um, so it was, it was a pretty good bike for me. We've got one of the later Olin's shocks with the hydraulic preload adjuster um, and high and low speed compression damping and rebound adjustment um, and I run a 520 chain conversion with talon sprockets um, with a 44 tooth rear sprocket at the moment on the back of here um, primarily for acceleration it's uh, interesting that on a lot of tracks you don't get to really utilize the top speed I'm also missing the gear lever and quick shifter assembly on here because I've I've used it on another of the bikes I've got. You'll also see that there is a case guard fitted in here to ensure that should the chain snap it doesn't damage the case. So the rear end of the bike seat unit is a standard aluminium frame from Ducati. Nothing special there. It's the same one that comes off a of 748. Um, it's running a carbon under tray not much really to say there I actually like running the standard um, Ducati seat so I don't buy my race bodywork with um, foam seating I prefer to use the proper seat in there and then in the current guys it's running an LED rain light all of the electronics for the bike are held at the front here so as I said earlier, we've got the AIM MXL Pista cam, base, a cam bus based dash logger mounted on a carbon frame. Uh, it's using an, a 996 RS um, carbon fiber frame support. The ECU is logged in here. We've got a power commander free with a single map in it, which is mapped to both cylinders. Um, and these here, which I've just tied out of the way, are all of the connections for the sensors for when it's in its proper race configuration. That's in a nutshell. Just a, a quick little video of an overview of one of the bikes I've built before. Um, what should be happening in the next couple of days I should hopefully get notification that the crankshaft is ready for collection. And then we will get back to... Um, 
building our engine which is patiently waiting here for us to restart again so thanks for watching this little short video hope the update uh, keeps you guys engaged and uh, if you've got any comments or any questions please feel free to ask below if you like the video give us a like um, if you're not subscribed i'd welcome you as a subscriber to the channel for more content in the future all the best thank you very much for watching this video